Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have a sad update regarding Oscar-winning actress Natalie Portman. As always, at Immortal News we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 11. Gone but not forgotten. Veteran actress Jean Allison passed away peacefully at the age of 94. She lived a long life, filled with amazing roles on both TV and the big screen. Born in New York in 1929, Jean got into acting after college. Her talent landed her a spot on General Electric Theater in 1957, which was just the beginning. You might recognize her from classic shows like Bonanza, The Waltons, and Highway to Heaven. She could play any part, that's for sure. Jean wasn't just a TV star though, she also had a successful film career. Her first movie was Edge of Fury in 1958 and she went on to be in movies like Bad Company and Hardcore. When she wasn't acting, Jean was busy building a wonderful life. She was married a couple of times and later found love again with cinematographer Jack Cuffer, reconnecting after 50 years. They were great friends until the very end. Jean's family remembers her not just as a talented actress, but also as a loving mom and friend. The entertainment world is mourning the loss of this incredible woman. Her characters and stories will live on forever. Tributes to Jean Allison. Number 10. The world of children's entertainment is mourning the loss of actor Colin Bennett. Mr. Bennett passed away. His passing was announced today by his son. For many Britons, Colin Bennett was a familiar and cherished presence on their screens. He was best known for his role as Mr. Bennett on the BBC's Take Heart and its spin-off Heartbeat, which ran from the 1970s to the 1980s. His on-screen chemistry with presenter Tony Hart brought laughter and joy to countless young viewers. Colin Bennett's career extended beyond these popular programs. He appeared in shows like You Should Be So Lucky, and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Fans have shared online how his performances enriched their childhoods, a testament to his enduring legacy. The news of Mr. Bennett's passing hit close to home for his son, actor Tom Bennett. In a heartfelt social media post, Tom paid tribute to his father, calling him a hero and expressing his deep love. An outpouring of condolences followed from fans and fellow actors, a reflection of the respect Colin Bennett earned throughout his career. Colin Bennett's legacy is one of bringing smiles to children's faces. Tribute to Colin Bennett. Number 9. We lost a true gem this week. Vicki Richards, the amazing actress passed away at 79 in her Caribbean home. The sad news was announced today when police found her house in Trinidad and Tobago in disarray. It appears someone broke in, and it's awful to think this terrible experience might have contributed to a heart attack. Vicky's family and friends are understandably devastated. But Vicky wasn't just a celebrity. Acting was her lifelong passion. Even after stepping out of the spotlight, she stayed involved lending her talents to theater groups and various projects. A relative's touching words perfectly captured her essence. Beautiful isn't just about looks. Vicky had a beautiful soul. That vibrancy shone through in everything she did. She was outgoing, full of life, and completely dedicated to her craft. Vicky's impressive career spanned films like Zeta One and Black Snake, but her legacy extends far beyond the silver screen. Born in the Caribbean, she ventured to the UK as a child, eventually returning to her roots. This adventurous spirit and resilience were hallmarks of her life. Even facing the challenges of dementia in her later years and living alone, she continued to inspire those around her with her zest for life and creativity. The police are piecing together the events that led to her untimely death, but one thing's for sure. Vicky leaves a void in the hearts of many. She was a shining light in theater, film, and the lives of the people who knew her. Her legacy of beauty both in her art and her spirit will continue to be a source of inspiration for all who encountered her talent and kindness. Tributes to Vasella Richards.
Number 8. The world of manga dimmed a bit this week with the passing of Akira Toriyama, the creative mind behind global hits like Dragon Ball and the wacky world of Dr. Slump. At 68, Toriyama left behind a legacy that stretches far beyond comic book panels, influencing not just manga and anime, but video games and countless aspiring artists. His journey wasn't an instant ascent to Mount Manga Everest. Starting out at an advertising agency, Toriyama honed his artistic skills, all the while nurturing his true passion for drawing. This passion eventually led him to unleash characters like Goku and the bombastic world of Dragon Ball onto the unsuspecting world. Dragon Ball wasn't just a story, it was a phenomenon. With over 260 million copies sold worldwide, it became a gateway for many into the wild and wacky world of anime. The series' influence transcended borders, inspiring countless artists and igniting a lifelong love for the medium in countless fans. Toriyama's creative spark didn't stop at manga. He lent his talents to character design for legendary video game franchises like Dragon Quest and Chrono Trigger, further solidifying his place as a pop culture powerhouse. But unlike many creators who thrive in the limelight, Toriyama preferred the quiet hum of his studio. He was a man known for his shyness, letting his work do the loud talking. That passion he poured into his creations shone brightly. His love for cars, motorcycles, and intricate model building translated into the rich detail and fantastical worlds he crafted. The news of his passing has sparked an outpouring of tributes from fans and colleagues alike. The sentiment is clear. Toriyama's work wasn't just entertaining, it was a source of inspiration and joy. His characters transcended the limitations of language and culture, becoming beloved companions on fantastical adventures. They weren't just fictional heroes. They were motivators for a generation of artists and fans who saw themselves reflected in Goku's unwavering determination or Vegeta's prideful spirit. Akira Toriyama's legacy isn't just a trophy case overflowing with awards or a bank account overflowing with royalties. It's about the impact his creativity had on millions. He'll be remembered as a legend who fueled imaginations and ignited a love for adventure, one meticulously drawn panel at a time. Rest in peace, Mr. Toriyama, and thank you for the fantastical worlds you gifted us. Tributes to Akira Toriyama. Number 7. Wow, we lost a rising star this week with Nick Sheridan, a super talented Irish journalist and writer. He only made it to 32 before a sudden brain thing took him in Glasgow on March 6. So sad. Nick wasn't just any journalist, he started at Newstalk, then moved to STV and finally landed at BBC Scotland. There, he did everything, presenting, reporting, even filming. He could do it all, and he did it well. But Nick wasn't just about the news. He was also a fantastic author, especially for kids. His first book, Breaking News, How to Tell What's Real from What's Rubbish, was all about helping young people spot fake news. Pretty cool, right? And that wasn't all. He even had a whole detective trilogy going with The Case of the Runaway Brain and The Case of the Phantom Treasure, with another one on the way called The Case of the Poisonous Pigs. Nick was also super open about being gay from a young age, which is pretty inspiring. On top of that, he won a bunch of awards like Young Irish Filmmaker of the Year. He even used his success to give back, lecturing at the University of West Scotland and fighting for LGBTQ rights. There was a moment of silence at BBC Scotland for Nick, and it felt deserved. The guy was a total pro, creative as heck and just kind. We'll miss Nick Sheridan, his amazing work and the impact he had on journalism and books. Tributes to Nick Sheridan. Number 6. We lost a TV legend this week, Michael Jenkins, the guy behind Aussie classics like Heartbreak High and Blue Murder. He passed away peacefully at 77 on March 4th with his family by his side. Parkinson's got him in 2000-20, to 20, 
but his work will definitely live on. Jenkins was a master of bringing real Australia to life on screen. Heartbreak High, the teen drama he co-created in the 90s, was a massive hit back then, and even got a reboot on Netflix a couple years ago. It wasn't all high school drama though, he also did Blue Murder, a top-notch Aussie crime show that solidified his cred as a storytelling genius. Before becoming a big-shot director, Jenkins started out as a reporter and then moved on to working behind the scenes at the ABC. Throughout his career he kept pushing boundaries with shows like The Gritty Scales of Justice and the musical movie Rebel. No matter what he did it was clear he loved exploring social issues through film. Everyone's been paying their respects to Jenkins, from his mates in the industry to fans who grew up with his shows. People like Screen Producers Australia and actor Adam Zwar are all saying the same thing. Jenkins' work was incredible and will continue to inspire for years to come. So the next time you're watching an Aussie show that feels real and tackles tough subjects, remember Michael Jenkins. He was a one-of-a-kind filmmaker who left a huge mark on Australian TV. Tributes to Michael Jenkins. Number 5. Oscar Traven, a cherished figure in Mexican cinema, theater and television, passed away at the age of 75, leaving a void in the hearts of many who admired his work. Known for his roles in successful telenovelas such as Alcanzar una Estrella, Cuidado con el Angel, and La Fea Mas Bella, Traven's departure was mourned by the National Association of Actors, who expressed their condolences through Instagram, acknowledging the profound loss of their colleague. Truven's career was marked by a bitter sentiment of underappreciation in Mexico, a struggle he openly shared in interviews. Despite his vast contributions to the entertainment industry, he felt overlooked, a sentiment that weighed heavily on him, leading to moments of profound sorrow. He once confessed, Sometimes I cry bitterly because I am a wasted actor, highlighting the emotional toll of his perceived undervaluation. Away from telenovelas for several years, Traven, who described himself as an architect of the soul, revealed in a 2021 interview his disappointment with how the industry had failed to acknowledge his talent. His passion for acting, ignited by theater, expanded to television and film, each medium offering a unique set of challenges and techniques he embraced wholeheartedly. Yet, the harsh reality of the industry, where visibility and prominent roles dictate an actor's worth, left him feeling sidelined and undervalued. Colleagues and friends, including notable actors such as Alejandro Tomasi and Laura Zapata, expressed their sorrow on social media, sharing personal anecdotes that highlighted Traven's generosity, talent, and the profound impact he had on their lives. Zapata reminisced about their dreams of success from their youth, praising Traven's attributes and mourning the loss of her adorable friend. Oscar Traven's legacy extends beyond his roles on screen and stage. It's a testament to the enduring spirit of an artist who, despite feeling underappreciated, continued to dedicate his life to the craft he loved. His candid reflections on the industry's challenges serve as a poignant reminder of the struggles faced by many talented artists. Tributes to Oscar Traven Number 4. Moroccan music just lost a legend this week. Abdou Cherif, known for his incredible voice and the magic he brought to Moroccan classical music, passed away unexpectedly on March 8 at the young age of 52. Abdou wasn't just any singer, his uncle was Abdelwahab Agumi, a huge name who modernized Moroccan music back in the 50s. Abdou's mentor was Mahmoud Saadi, another bigwig who helped create famous groups like Nas El Giwani and Jil Jalala. Talk about growing up surrounded by musical royalty. In 1999, Abdu's dream came true. He performed at the famous Cairo Opera House, singing for his idol, the legendary Abdel Halim Hafez. His performance was so amazing they called him the New Nightingale, a huge compliment since Abdel Halim was known as the Brown Nightingale. This moment brought Moroccan and Egyptian music lovers even closer together. But Abdu's legacy goes beyond awards. People loved him 
not just for his music, but for his warmth and generosity. He was a true crooner, his voice rich and full of emotion, and his songs touch people of all ages. Musicians and fans everywhere are remembering Abdu right now, not just for his talent, but for his kind spirit. The music world won't be the same without him, but his music will live on, inspiring generations to come. Abdu Sharif's songs will forever be a part of Morocco and the Arab world's rich cultural history. Tributes to Abdu Sharif. Number 3. Dali Sohi, a TV star we all loved, passed away way too soon on March 8th at 48. It was awful news, especially coming just hours after her sister Amandeep died from jaundice on March 7th. Dali fought cancer like a champ for six months, even having to leave her role on Janak. After chemo, she shared a super inspiring message about how tough life can be, but that you get to choose how you face it. She called herself a survivor of journey, and that totally fits her spirit, never giving up. Dolly's family is heartbroken, as you can imagine. They lost both sisters in one day. They released a statement about Dolly's passing, letting everyone know how much they miss her and sharing funeral details. It's a huge shock for everyone who knew them. Dolly wasn't just a talented actress on a bunch of shows. She brought joy to millions of viewers. She could really connect with people. The whole entertainment industry is mourning her loss. But Dolly's legacy goes beyond the screen. She showed incredible courage and positivity, especially when she was sick. Her sunny outlook and determination to fight inspired so many people. She believed in battling back with all your strength and hope, and that's a message we all need to hear. Fans, friends, and colleagues are all paying tribute to Dolly, remembering her talent and bravery. Her memory will live on in her work, but more importantly, in the lessons of resilience and hope she shared with the world. Tributes to Dolly Sohi. Number 2. Lucas Samaras, a pioneering force in the world of contemporary art, passed away at the age of 87 on March 7 in New York City. Born in Castoria, Greece on September 14, 1936, Samaras carved a niche for himself as a photographer, sculptor, and painter, profoundly influencing the American art scene. His journey in art commenced at Rutgers University, where he not only honed his craft but also forged significant relationships with contemporaries like Alan Capro and George Siegel, becoming an integral part of Capro's happenings and a muse for Siegel's plaster sculptures. Samaras was celebrated for his versatility, seamlessly traversing between painting, sculpture, performance art, and photography. His foray into photography, particularly his photo transformations, where he manipulated Polaroid film dyes to produce distorted self-images, stands as a testament to his innovative spirit and introspective exploration of self. His art, rich in psychological complexity, often featured him as the subject, inviting viewers into a deeply personal yet universal exploration of human nature. Beyond his individual pursuits, Samaras contributed to the global art community, representing Greece at the 53rd International Art Exhibition, the Venice Biennale in 2009 with Parahena, a multifaceted installation. His work, characterized by its introspective depth and multimedia approach, prompted New York Times art critic Grace Glick to remark on the artist's multifaceted persona, suggesting the presence of several Lucas Samaras within the singular name. Samaras' impact extended beyond galleries and museums. His sculpture, Stiff Box 12, has been a fixture at the University of Michigan Museum of Art since 1997, offering a tangible connection to his imaginative realm. The art community also celebrates his legacy through portraits by Chuck Close, capturing Samaras in various media, including painting and tapestry, and immortalizing his contribution to art. His explorations of self, innovative use of media, and contribution to both American and global art history will continue to inspire future generations. Tributes to Lucas Samaras.
Today's top headlines. News 1. Kenny Omega, the beloved wrestling superstar, shared an important health update with his fans during a recent Twitch stream, revealing that he has undergone emergency treatment. The athlete has been out of action since December, grappling with diverticulitis, a condition that has significantly impacted his career trajectory. Speaking candidly, Omega described his recovery process as fluctuating, with progress being met by occasional setbacks. Amidst uncertainty about needing surgery, Omega expressed his commitment to returning to the ring, albeit with no fixed timeline for his comeback. The wrestling icon emphasized his determination to meet the high standards he's known for, highlighting his sense of duty to his fans and the sport. Omega's health journey has captivated fans worldwide, who eagerly await his triumphant return to wrestling. News 2. Christine Brown, a familiar face from the reality show Sister Wives, has shared a heartfelt tribute to her son, Garrison Brown, following his tragic passing at the age of 25. In a poignant Instagram post, Christine remembered Garrison as a caring brother and highlighted a tender moment he shared with his sister truly, showcasing his thoughtful nature. The Brown family, known for their portrayal of polygamist life on TLC since 2010, is navigating through this profound loss, with Christine expressing the irreplaceable void Garrison's departure has left. The family's journey, marked by their unique lifestyle and recent personal changes, including Christine's departure from her marriage with Cody Brown and her subsequent new beginning with David Woolley, adds layers to the sorrow of this moment. As the Sister Wives community and viewers extend their sympathies, the emphasis is on privacy and respect during this time of mourning, underscoring the deep impact Garrison had on those around him. News 3. As China prepares to observe the Qingming Tomb Sweeping Festival, Jiang Hui faces a heart-wrenching dilemma. His mother, Jiang Kui Yun, was one of the 239 souls aboard the ill-fated Malaysia Airlines flight MH370, which mysteriously vanished on March 8, 2014. A decade later, with no grave to visit and no remains to mourn, Jiang grapples with how to honor his mother's memory. The festival, a time for paying respects to the departed, only intensifies his anguish over her unresolved disappearance. Despite extensive searches in the southern Indian Ocean, the whereabouts of the passengers, crew, and aircraft remain unknown. In a bid for closure, Jiang recently sought to rekindle efforts for a renewed investigation into the tragedy. Amidst ongoing grief, the families of MH370 passengers cling to hope for answers, yearning for a resolution that may finally bring their loved ones home, in memory if not in person. News 4. Hollywood is abuzz with the news that Natalie Portman, acclaimed Oscar-winning actress, and Benjamin Millipede, renowned French dancer and choreographer, have ended their 11-year marital journey. The couple, who first met on the mesmerizing set of Black Swan in 2010, a film that earned Portman an Academy Award, finalized their divorce last month, confirming a close to a chapter that began with a fairy tale wedding in 2012. Together, they share two children, ages 12 and 7, and have continued to navigate their lives with grace amidst this change. As Portman takes strides in her career with new roles and productions on the horizon, the industry watches with supportive eyes, recognizing the strength and resilience inherent in moving forward from personal challenges. Number one, Jim Roddy, a real go-getter who passed away this March at 91, was a big deal in Pennsylvania. He wasn't just some politician. He was a Marine Corps captain, a business leader, and the very first chief executive of Allegheny County. Roddy was all about shaking things up. He was born in North Carolina, went to college in Texas, and eventually landed in Pittsburgh in 1979. This guy did it all. He was a champion runner, worked with media giant Ted Turner, and even ran his own successful businesses. People in Pittsburgh loved his humor, and he served on important boards for places like the University of Pittsburgh. As the first chief executive of Allegheny County, Roddy made a big change. He got rid of the old way of running things with a bunch of commissioners and replaced it with a single leader and a county council. This may not sound exciting, but it meant everyone in the county had a fairer say in how things were run, not just Pittsburgh. 
He also did this unpopular thing of reassessing property taxes which made things fairer but wasn't exactly popular at the time. Even after he was chief executive Roddy kept making a difference. He helped oversee Pittsburgh's finances and even led the Republican Party in the county. He wasn't perfect but under his watch the party grew a lot. Roddy's passing is a big loss for Pennsylvania. He was a visionary leader with a ton of charisma who really made a difference. We should all remember him for his dedication to public service and the positive impact he left on the region. Tributes to Jim Roddy, 